Hey everybody, that hiking guy back with you again, and it is episode three or video three of the budget hiking slash backpacking series. And tonight I'm going to talk about uh, a sleeping bag. It's not going to be another pack. It's actually a sleeping bag that I got, and I get I bet you'll never guess where I got this sleeping bag. That's right, I bought it at Walmart. It's a 32 degree bag. It's 90% uh, down, and so let's take a look at. It. Okay, so here we have uh, the Ozark Trail Cocoon 250, 32 degree bag. It is 90% duck down and 10% feather. And one of the main reasons I got this was I had purchased a another, uh, I guess it was an off-brand off eBay, and one of the reasons I got it is I got this is because one time I went out camping, I think it's when I went to the Red River Gorge, and I had the previous um, I had the previous bag and it just weighed way too much. It added so much weight along with the hammock. And so I'm like, okay, let me see if I can find a cheap um, lightweight alternative because since I'm on a budget, I don't have a lot of money to spend for you know the most expensive bag so I went to Walmart and this is what I settled on it went it went from having a bag that was about two and a half pounds to this bag which is about half a pound which is not bad half a pound 90% down I, I'm 90% down with that so the price I still have the name I still have the tag on this by the way price $79.97 that might be pricey for a cheap, uh, for somebody's budget, but the weight that it saved me was uh, worth it to me. I, I on my next uh, overnight, which I did um, at the Hemlock Cliffs, it was going to get down to 26, so I knew the rating wasn't good. So I brought it and one other, and I still had less uh, weight together with those two bags than I did with the one bag that I got of the off-brand. So, um, all right. So as you can see, it comes in its own compression sack or its own sack here. Um, I really like that. It doesn't take up much space in the bag. Uh, let's see, let's, the, the, uh, the lid, it, com it comes off. Why can I never get this right? It comes off and stays attached. I like that so I don't lose it. So let's pull it out here if I can. These are really... Now, this is a mummy style bag. The only thing I don't like, I kind of wish the stuff sack would attach to the bag. But it has a... Uh, here, let's do that. It has a uh, pretty nice enclosed uh, foot area. So this is the foot area. Um, let's go up here. It, since it's a mummy style bag, it does have it does have a place for your head, and it also has an adjustable bungee cord. Has an adjustable bungee cord here to let you tighten it around your face. Um, some of the other features, it has Velcro at the neck, right there, and it's it's just an overall good bag. I really am happy with this bag. In fact, I don't see me getting another one anytime soon. Um, what's this feature here? It has, oh, has a little, has a little stuff compartment too. So it has a little stuff compartment. That's, yeah, you put your cell phone in so you don't lose it. So yeah, overall, I'm pretty happy with this bag. And I'll probably use it for a very long time. And it didn't cost me that much, in my view. Um, not quite a four season bag. So, you know, I can use it three seasons. I'll, I'm, not, I'm not geared up for winter camping anyway, but Maybe I'll, if, when I do, I'll get something else. But for now, this is my bag of choice for just about every excursion. So that is 
that is, you know, another example, yet another example of how you don't have to spend a lot of money to have decent gear. This is a good quality bag for the price and for what I need it for. All right, so I am that hiking guy. Make sure you get out and explore and get out and explore and, and, and sleep in, in this, this thing here, this mommy bag. And don't spend